Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at getting started with Android application development using Visual Studio 2022. I'll walk you through the steps to set up your development environment, create a new Android project, and run your first application on an Android emulator. But before we do so, please make sure you like the video and you subscribe to the channel. So let's get straight into it. First of all, you will need to install the Visual Studio 2022. If you haven't already, download and install it from the official Visual Studio website. So during the installation, make sure to select the mobile development with .NET Workload. This will, this will install all the necessary tools for Android development, including Xamarin and Android SDK. Yeah? But if you've already installed a Visual Let's go ahead and open our Visual Studio installer. So this is the Visual Studio installer. Let's click on the modify. So here, as you can see, we've got a bunch of workloads that we can use for any application development. But today we're looking at Android app development. So let's have a look at what workloads that we're going to need. So here, as you can see, we've got um, a bunch of workloads. So let's select um, .NET multi-platform app development. So as you can see, I've already selected it now. But so once we select it, yeah, on the right hand side, this is what we see. So this this is the, the components that will be added to our stack. But if we look at the optional side here, we have to make sure that we select the Android SDK setup. And if you want to use Xamarin, yeah, make sure you select this as well. The Xamarin, but obviously it's out of service. But hey, if you want to use it, you can select this, okay? And then you can come to individual components. So here you can also add a bunch of components that that will be necessary. So as you can see here now, we've got .NET SDK for Android, and we've got SDK for iOS, and, and more. So obviously you can take your time and have a look at what individual workloads that you want to install. Okay, so let's go ahead. So once we are finished with the Android installer, I mean, I mean Visual Studio installer, let's close it and open our Visual Studio. So here, uh, let's go ahead and create a new project. So if you, if you follow through the, um, the installation, once you come to this part and you select um, the other platforms, yeah, you, select, you, you select Android. Yeah, so it will show a bunch of Android application projects or templates that you can use inside a Visual Studio. So let's go ahead and scroll down. So as you can see here now, we've got Android application, Android application. So it's the project for creating a .NET Android application. Yeah, so let's click on this and go next. Here you can configure your project details, but we're not looking into it. Let's go ahead. And here you can configure additional Android specifics, yeah, like the, the OS version and whatnot, yeah. We're not looking into that at all. So let's go ahead and create. So as you can see here now, we have we have the um, the project created for us now. So but before we continue, yeah, let's do let's have a look at um, the Android SDK and whatnot, yeah. So to configure or to download some SDKs here. Let's go to the tools, Android. Here, let's select Android SDK Manager. So here, um, we can select um, the latest versions to ensure compatibility Um, with the latest Android features. So as you can see here now, I've already selected an um, Android SDK platform 34. Yeah. So on this on the Visual Studio, this is showing us the as the latest. Yeah. And I've also selected the Android SDK platform 33. So you can follow what I've done or you can select a bit more based on what you want to do with it. Yeah. So once once you select what whatever is applicable to you, then you apply changes. Let's come to the tools, yeah. So here, as you can see, I've selected the Android SDK platform to 34, which I, should, I just showed you. And 
Android SDK command line tools, you have selected the latest, which is 11.0, okay? So let's go to the emulator. So you select the emulator and also apply changes. Let's go to this extras. Yeah, as you can see, I've selected Google USB driver. So you can also do the same and make sure you select the Android emulator hypervisor driver. Yeah. And Intel, I mean, I'm not going to talk a lot. If you really want to do, know the, um, this, all this um, configuration process here, yeah, have a look at my video on setting up the Android emulator. Yeah. So let's go ahead and finish with this. And let's go back to the tools, Android and Android uh, Device Manager. So here, here um, we can create our Android emulator. So as you can see, I've, I've, create, I've already created one, but I'm just going to show you quickly how you can go ahead and create one. So here you can you can create one with the default um, settings or you can select um, the base device that you want to use so basically if you want to use the play store you can select any one of these a pixel 6a or pixel 7 pro and you'll be able to select the google play store yeah so as you can see we're, we are able to select the play store and you can download you can download and create your emulator with the play store yeah so you can go ahead and create it. I'm not go, I'm not creating it because I've already got it. Yeah, so I'm just going to cancel it, uh, discard it. Yeah. So now let's go ahead and uh, start our emulator. So I'm just going to minimize this. Yeah. So right now let's look at what we have here with the project. Yeah. So as you can see here now, we have the main activity .c. So basically, the main uh, main activity .cs um, is where you will write the code for your main activity and the resources folder contains um, the, the the resources folder contains images, layout, and, and other assets for your application. Yeah, which we're going to have a look at in a moment. Yeah, and then uh, let's go ahead and open our uh, our layout and open activity under underscore main dot xml so basically this contains our layout yeah so let's go ahead and make a quick change some quick changes yeah so as you can see like my previous video i've got the, the xml code and then the visual design here okay so first of all, let's just change the, the relative layout into linear layout. Yeah. And and then with a linear layout, yeah, let's go ahead and and add a um, Android orientation. Set that to vertical. Yeah, so that's what we have here now. So here, let's go ahead and add a button. So the button, I mean, you're just going to go to the toolbox and drag the, but the button and, um, and then smash it here. Okay. So then on the back, the, on the test side here, let's just, let's just put a click me. Yeah, let's put this here. Okay, so right now let's go let's go to the the main activity. So before we write uh, the code to handle the bu the button click, yeah, let's let's uh, right click the project and then um, build it. Now that we have the build completed, let's go ahead and and declare variable button. So let's call it BT is equal to find view by ID. So this will be um, button. And inside here, yeah, we're just going to put our resources. 
resource dot id dot the button one yeah <clears throat> so let's go ahead and handle the, the click event so we're going to put a bt dot click so we go ahead and we handle the click events so this is what we're going to put standard and if for the argument then this is what we're going to put okay so this is what we're going to do we're going to create a, a toast message so we'll make test toast dot make test this and then the test will be uh button clicked then toast length dot shot so it's a, it's a shot um, and then dot show so that's all it for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run it um, on the emulator and let's see what actually comes out of it, okay? Okay, so as you can see here now, we've got an application running now, yeah? So basically, if we click on this, on the click me, oh, it's, it's gone now, so let me open it again. So if we click on the on the button, click me. So as you can see, yeah, we've got the toast message showing. Yeah, so it's very simple stuff. So I'm just going to leave it here for you to, I mean, explore fair by yourself. So once again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do, and make sure you like the video as well because I've got lots of videos coming up. I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.